We're on the roof of the Lynn Robinson Laboratory at the California Institute of Technology. My name is Michael Hoffman. I'm a professor of environmental science and engineering, and I'm also the principal investigator on the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation research project, Reinventing the Toilet. We are designing the system for use in the developing world uh, to reduce uh, disease transmission through improper uh, sanitation. Uh, more than 3.5 billion people in the world lack proper sanitary facilities for their daily uh, needs. This system should be independent of traditional urban infrastructures such as electric power grids or subsurface sewer systems to carry waste away to a general treatment facility. So our system is totally powered uh, by incoming solar light that is captured with photovoltaic panels. In a single day of sunlight, we can store enough energy and batteries to drive an electrochemical waste treatment system, uh, which can totally treat the waste, produce useful byproducts. Graduate student Clement Sid will continue to explain some of the fundamental aspects of the solar powered electrochemical treatment system uh, which is housed off to my right in the solar dome. Hello, my name is uh, Clement Cid. I'm a PhD student at the California Institute of Technology, and I'm going to show you our prototype. Here we are in the solar dome. I'm sitting in the second level of our prototype. This level is supposed to be the ground level where we decided to install three different kinds of toilets. First, the Western style toilet, a water-free urinal, a squat toilet, mostly used in Asia and Africa. When a person uses one of them, the human waste goes directly to the lower level by gravity. Here I am at the lower level of our prototype. When a person flushes one of the toilets, the wastewater goes to the septic holding tank, where sedimentation process occurs and anaerobic digestion by bacteria acts as a pretreatment. The supernatant goes by gravity flow to our sun-powered electrochemical reactor, where the human waste can be oxidized at the semiconductor anodes while the water is reduced at the metal cathodes to form hydrogen. Chloride from table salt is oxidized to chlorine species, which are really reactive and will increase the treatment and the disinfection of the water. The energy needed for the reactor comes from the sun with the solar panel out outside, where photons are converted in electrons, which goes to the charge controller and are stored in the batteries. Thus, our reactor can run night and day. Let me switch it on. We tried our system with five gallon samples uh, coming from Los Angeles area wastewater treatment stations as primary effluents. They turn from brown to transparent in less than four hours. Biological and chemical analysis reveals that disinfection has taken place. Once the water is disinfected, it goes by gravity flow to a microfiltration system and then can be stored to a holding tank where it can be reused for next flushes or irrigation. The sediments out of the septic holding tanks can be used as fertilizer for crops. We would like to thank the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for their support in building the prototype. We've been working on this project now for one year. I would like to also acknowledge the hard work of graduate students and postdocs as key members of our research project.